Freedom of speech is the rallying cry of the losing side. I think that freedom of speech is a good thing and it was very wise of the founding fathers to have that enshrined in the country's founding doctrine. I believe that freedom of speech is just used to appeal to American mysticism because we and countries in general hold to a high regard what we got right. I believe it goes against human nature. No one wants their worldview criticized for multiple reasons, two of which are critiques. It can be perceived as you trying to lower the status of someone's worldview. Humans are status seeking creatures. Secondly, from a power standpoint, allowing your worldview to be critiqued allows for the holes in it to be exposed. That's a good thing if your goal is human flourishing or you value alignment with the truth, but it's not so good for the people who have a vested interest in the perpetuation of the status quo. As much as we pride ourselves as Americans on freedom of speech, the powers that be never remember that when in power. Any positive change in this country was never met positively but with censorship and violence. The abolitionists, for example, were beaten or killed, their mail was intercepted, and places of congregation were destroyed. We also had obscenity laws where comedians like George Carlin were arrested for use of profanity in their bits. This was inspired by how, on the right, I always hear about how people on the left and some of the more goofy things that they're proposing is un-American or even evil. I think this is more of a problem with the right failing to consolidate power or how they can create a truly competitive platform that can compete with Meta, YouTube, or TikTok. Because in my view, the powerful determine what is acceptable speech, even if acceptable speech is all speech. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Till the next one.